Hello there, Wizards and Apprentices. My name is Yara the Wizard, and I am here today with more mad ravings about Minecraft. Today, I would like to take an unpopular stance. Disliking blocks is a sign of weakness. Too much? Too harsh? Well, I don't care, because I think that we as builders spread a lot of negativity into the Minecraft universe, and it gives certain blocks a bad rap. I'm talking about purper. I'm talking about kelp blocks, and you best bet I'm talking about birch, I'm talking about diorite. You constantly hear people shitting on these blocks, calling them ugly, calling them unusable, calling them hard to build with, and you know what? I won't stand for it any longer. Honest question here, do you hate these blocks because you hate them, or because you picked up the hatred from your friends or your favorite YouTubers? Like, no shade on Iskal, I love you man, but like, what did diorite ever do to you? In real life, you see examples of stone a lot like diorite, in buildings, in interiors, constantly. Do you tell people that their granite countertops look like bird poop? Didn't think so. And I don't want to hear about the texture, gang. Most blocks don't look good if you tile them unbroken without variation, but now with the addition of calcite, like, I just don't want to hear it, man. You have no excuse to not use diorite in your block variation. It just works with the other white blocks. It gives a little bit of shadowing, a little bit of texture. It's a good block. Deal with it. And purper. Gang, like, we're all in agreement that purple is one of the best colors, right? Why in the world do we as a community hate on one of the only blocks in the game with this lovely light pinkish purple shade? I've heard people say that it's hard to match, but like sometimes a near match or a complimentary tone is even better still. Like look at this, look at this lovely type of color scheme you can start to make with the addition of this lovely, beautiful light pinkish purple. Like come on, stop hating on purple and kelp blocks. These are literally one of my favorite blocks because no other block has this amazing shade of dark green. And this line down the middle, it can be super useful too. And if you don't like it for your build and you just want the color of green, you know, you can hide it with some walls or, you know, mask it with some, some glass of some sort. Like there, there are so many ways to use this beautiful dark green block. And we just, we just, as a community, we don't do it. And I think that's wrong. What else we got? We got we got granite. Granite. Look at this. Look at this. You see this texture, this color in real life buildings all the time. Don't want to hear it. Don't want to hear it. It's beautiful. It goes with all sorts of things. It goes especially now that we have dripstone. Look at this. Look at this. Don't want to hear it no more. Granite's beautiful. It goes with a lot of things. You can use dripstone to trans transfer it tran trans trans to, to make the make the gradients other colors, okay? Use gradients. Use granite. Netherrack. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, wee woo. It looks like big beans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's also a nice dark red stone that if you use it with other things, like can just become a lovely sort of reddish brown texture in another build. Here, hang on, let me let me just show you real quick. There, see, like, get out of the way. Like, see, I didn't even know what I was doing. I was, I was just doing stuff, but like, you see, you could just use it. You could just use it. It's not banned, gang. It's not a banned block just because it's from the nether. Come on, use the dark red. Come up with some, some fun block palettes with it. It's red. Endstone, gang. It's a yellow brick. Come on. Come on, this is cottage core as heck. Why aren't we using this? Why aren't we using this? Why aren't we covering this in 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 vines and glow lichen and all that? Why aren't we why aren't we using this? Look how cute it is. It's yellow. <laughs> glowstone. Glowstone. I know this is gonna be an unpopular opinion, even more than some of these other ones, because you know, people say it's dated right you know it's just a cobblestone like texture and all that but also it's one of the only blocks in the game that is like a realistic shade of gold like look at this the actual golds are very yellow and you don't always want that color sometimes you want like a more realistic gold right but okay say you still don't like the texture right you just want some of the color hide some of it right have only a little bit peeking out behind a wall or do something funky with stairs right like 
can sort of see a little bit of color through there. That's fun. You can use that and it casts light. You can't go wrong. Glowstone is good. All the blocks that cast light, it is my second favorite. And that is only because the redstone lamp will always have my heart. I don't know if I've ever heard anyone complain about the redstone lamp, but just in case, I just want you to know you're on thin ice. Or blocks, look at these. All of these have their place, whether it's as like a pop of color somewhere, part of the gradient, or, or like, you know, just something, something to make the, make it sparkle, make it pop, you know? Look at these, use these. Glazed terracotta. Now I made this tier list at one point, so I too have unequal opinions about the different colors, but I still maintain that even the ones I like the least have their uses. Even that arrow that everyone hates on, the magenta arrow, it functions as an arrow. Sometimes you need an arrow. Diamond blocks and emerald blocks? To build your walls with, maybe not, but as a mystical prop? A pop of color partially obscured with clever use of stairs, slabs, walls, or otherwise? Yes, please, daddy. Did you just call me daddy? Don't interrupt, Rizabeth. Where was I? Where was I? Redstone blocks? Redstone blocks? I built a whole tree out of them because they're the most vibrant red in the game. Next! Acacia! Acacia! Uh, this, this one I don't understand. What do you have against orange? What's everyone have against orange? You're gonna write off a whole section of the color wheel for what? For what? It's a wood type! It's a wood type! So like, honestly, how dare you? Not a sponge, I'll admit, I never thought of that one before, uh, before I was uh, sourcing for this video, but listen, I looked it up, and I saw someone use it as a carpet, and that looks fine. Hello, sir. I'm sure I could think of a bunch more, but like, hopefully you get the picture by now, right? Like, why would you hate on a block when you could simply take it as a challenge and try to find a creative way to use it? Is this not the point of building? Is this not the point of Minecraft? If we stand for this treatment of blocks, do we not become the oppressor? Do we not become what we most despise? Yara, I literally just said that I didn't like purple that much. This is editing Yara. I forgot to talk about birch in this video, so here's two pictures of times I used birch and it was awesome. Thanks for watching my unhinged video, and biggest thanks to my high tier Patreon, David Manners.